In one corner of southeast England, there's a very special wood. A woodland to visit and enjoy during these short days. Somewhere to let our imagination wander and wonder about the wildlife that lives there. Weak sunlight brings little warmth and the woodland seems almost lifeless. But beneath the roots, out of sight, here, dormice slumber to escape the cold, resting in true hibernation. They may stay curled up in this coziness for up to seven months, waiting for the temperatures to rise. Further underground, bigger creatures retreat from winter's grip. Badgers. They don't actually hibernate, but often sleep huddled together to help keep in the warmth. But not everything here sleeps through the long freezing nights. A wood mouse delves amongst the leaf litter under the cover of darkness, looking for seeds and nuts. Its sensitive nose sniffs out food, ear and eyes constantly alert for danger. And it must be cautious, because high above, a tawny owl's huge eyes and keen ears are intently watching and particularly listening. A wood mouse would be a welcome meal in these lean times. As dawn breaks, some of the wood's more unexpected residents stir. Wild boar dig and furrow their way through the sodden ground, looking for roots, bulbs, and anything else they think they can eat. The sun slowly rises. Shadows move silently through this forest. Fallow deer. The autumn rut now over, they stick together in a herd for safety, because they sense danger here. They can smell predators. Lynx are waiting, watching. A small deer would make perfect prey. Thick fur keeps out the winter chill. Even the soles of their paws are covered. This lone hunter, about the size of a sheepdog, hasn't been seen in our countryside since Roman times. Now it's only disturbed by the master of the woods. The wolf. By hunting in packs, wolves can even take on the largest prey, red deer. Wolves are top predators, keeping nature in check, ensuring balance. But wolves haven't roamed our land for centuries either. So where is this mythical place? Where is this ancient wild wood home to historical hunters? It's all we have left. It's a wildlife park just a dream of our past. But there are people here trying to make this dream come true. Zoos are breeding these animals and in some cases releasing them too. Not the big predators, not yet anyway. Some people talk of a forest that will be truly wild again. Wolves, lynx, even bears. Perhaps they could all return. Perhaps this wildwood is more than an echo of our history. Could it be a vision of wild things to come?